Hello ladies, are you ready to embark on this incredible journey of self-discovery? Welcome to our monthly gathering of transformation and empowerment. Forgiveness is a biggie. It's really, I see forgiveness as, as one of the most precious gifts that, that the Lord has given us. And I say that because in our own selves, our own flesh, we cannot forgive. I mean, we may say, I forgive you, but it's not totally done. And you always remember, you know, that hurt or whatever. But through that obedience, God has called us to obedience. And this is an act of obedience to forgive. We are giving that person and what they did to us, giving that to God to take care of it. Right. So because he is our protector, he is our, our God who, who fights for us. He is a God of justice. And through our obedience, and you know, um, when, when you know, Jesus said you know, to forgive as 70 times yeah. seven, I mean, yeah. it's just like Good. over and over and over and over and over again. And that act of obedience, really, um, I'm... I seriously want to give this to you, God, all of it. I don't want any of it. I don't want to be a puppet to this thing that hurt hurt me. Um, you know yeah. what I love about that is what you said. It's a gift. It's a gift. And what I love is where my mind goes is that Jesus forgave us as a gift. Yes. And so we have the opportunity, how fun, we have the opportunity to be like Jesus in this. And what a game changer. I mean, it changes everything, just like he did, right? It transforms right. everything. It transforms everything. Everything, yeah. I know for me, I mean, I had things in my life I was so angry with, and it took me several years to, you know, constantly, um, it's hard, right, forgiveness, because I would constantly say, I still feel that feeling, so I forgive, I forgive. But forgiveness is a choice, Yes. right? And choice. then the enemy can constantly bring it back like you didn't forgive because the pain's still there, the right? The pain's still or, there, yes. And, and so what do you say to that? I mean, how, what do you, well, there, when that um, happens? Many people have um, experienced deep, deep pain and deep hurt. And when we are hurt, um, there are other things that happened other things occurred in us and so we may forgive 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 but it still stays there and it's just stubborn and it won't go away in that so when we are hurt um, things like bitterness might happen mm -hmm. things like a lie that I believe well I'm never gonna be good enough mm -hmm. um, so you're saying saying that out of forgiveness other whole things start to other things accumulate it's like right. a rolling yeah and it just gets bigger it bigger, gets bigger and bigger and so it just tethers it to you and even though you keep forgiving and that's you know one of the reasons why um when when i meet with people we talk not just about the forgiveness but we talk about what happened um what were your thoughts um, are you, were you angry? Were you despairing, hopeless? Mm -hmm. What are these other things that are keeping this um, forgiveness, or this forgiveness from totally happening? Right. So that we can look back on a place in our lives where there is hurt and not have those hurt feelings. Right. We remember it, but it's been healed right. by the work of the Holy Spirit, by the blood of Jesus. It's been healed yeah. over that we remember, but we don't have the pain. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when you know it's clean, and that's it's when done. you know that the Lord is. And some people, right? I mean, you and I've been together where some mm -hmm. people have just been like, okay, finally they break, and the Lord yes. comes and says something, and then they're just like completely changed. Yes, I'm thinking of one person completely. She, she came in one way. I saw her several times the same way, just downtrodden. I think. Yes, and. Um, and we met with her that one time and I mean one time and I have never yep. I've never seen that same downtroddenness on her again right uh, yeah you know, that's that's, that's the beautiful. way Jesus works yeah yeah <laughs> now you've been reading a book um, unoffendable is that yes right? yeah talk about that yes. I have not read it I've heard a lot about it but so um 
the book Unoffendable is just really a great book and it's super challenging. <laughs> it's very challenging because you know in our everyday we are offended how many times like all day long you know somebody cuts you off or somebody's yeah. you know grabs the last I don't know yeah, right. something it's... off the shelf and, <laughs> and you didn't get it and, right, right. Um, somebody eats your leftovers I mean we're offended yeah. again and again and again <laughs> all day long and uh, just to be able to grab that thought the second that it happens yeah. And to say, I choose to forgive you in the name of Jesus and give it to Jesus yeah. and choose not to live a life of offense, which holds you back yeah. and then brings on the bitterness yeah. and all the other things. Yeah. But to live in that, to be able to um, grab that thought and forgive yeah. immediately and not be offendable. You know, it, 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 I think I think that where I have been the most amazed in forgiveness in general is that when I actually take the time, stop for one second, and give that person or that thing and say, Jesus, I forgive them, you know, or I give them to you. Right. How big of a change. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't muster that up. You can't no. pretend that to happen, right? And uh, it, it, it reminds me of a story of someone in severe pain and just offering that pain to Jesus and able to withstand the pain because yes. they've offered it to Jesus. Right. I mean, it's profound. These are spiritual laws, spiritual concepts that we're talking about that are real, that I've lived a lot of my life without even understanding. And forgiveness, I think, like you said, is, I think, the number one, would you say? I mean, one of the number I one I believe so. Gifts. Gifts. Given. Yes. It's so beautiful. I love and that and to be able to live your life when somebody says something, they're like, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Or they say something that, you know, maybe your friend is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they said that to you. And to be able to take and be like, hmm. Yeah. Didn't even bother me. Right. And that's such a reflection. People are like, how are you like that? Right? Talk right. about and witnessing, right? And that's just Jesus. Yeah. That's just choosing not to take in that offense because that's their stuff. Yeah. And you don't want to take in their, their stuff. stuff. Oh, no. No, we don't. So we want to live clean, reflective, repentive lives. Yes. Love that. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> And I'm being taught every day. <laughs> we, all, we all are. <laughs>